Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the You Me We Love spread for the sign of Capricorn. I hope everyone is doing well. Let me move this incense. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and your weekend is going great. Let's get right into this. This is a general reading Capricorn. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do. It's a love reading, so reverse throws as needed, okay? How is Capricorn feeling towards love or towards their love interest? Thank you. Page of Cups. Let's go, let us get one more, please. Okay. They want to communicate. Maybe make an offer to someone. Let's get one more. Okay. It's going to be like that. All right. They want to communicate that they're not, they're not feeling, they want to make an offer because they're not, um, because they feel left out and cold, they're feeling lonely right now, and they desire love and commitment at this time. Okay, Capricorn, I see you. Yeah, they want to communicate this. How is the love interest of Capricorn feeling towards <laughs> Capricorn? <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, y'all. See, that's why I haven't been doing readings. Okay. How is the love interest of Capricorn feeling towards Capricorn um, um, at this time? That's one of the reasons. How, are, how is uh, Capricorn's love interest feeling towards them at this time? Oh, they want to make this offer to you too. They feeling good about it. They feel like you're there to contentment. We got the Ace of, of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. They are crazy about you. But you you might be feeling like you don't have enough to offer them. But you, you care about them a lot and you really like them. Make the offer, Capricorn. All right, Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're going to be victorious. You guys are going to have a great relationship, it looks like. Let's get some mutual energies. So Capricorn in your person. Some mutual energies. Thank you. We got the King of Pentacles. Somebody's taking care of their business and might be being uh, lethargic. Capricorn in their person. All about this, um, about you guys reuniting. Good stuff. The Three of Cups. Or thinking about the, the happy times that you guys had before. Yeah. The universe, all right, and time. Thank you. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Somebody putting in the work because they know that you are their gift. Okay. You're their gift from spirit with that six of pentacles. Okay, good stuff. And somebody's just waiting. All right. King of pentacles. Why is this here? The Taurus energy. Why is this here? Why is the king of pentacles here? For Capricorn and their person. Thank you. Okay. We got that Leo energy of the strain. So... Somebody's trying to be strong while they're being lethargic, okay? We got the Three of Cups. Or strong in their business. The Three of Cups. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody's thinking about how wonderful it was when you guys were together. Yeah. Yeah, it was some great times. They may be thinking about how great it was when they walked away. Why they think it to themselves. Why did I walk away from this person? I had so much fun with them. I was so happy with them. Why did I do that? That's what it almost looks like to me. Yeah, because you're reminiscing here. Their, their inner, inner thoughts. Trying to be strong. Okay? All in their head. 
trying to be strong, but they can't get you out of their mind because they, they just keep thinking about you. Well, that looks like it's you, Capricorn. You just can't stop thinking about the other person, okay? Because you were happy at one time and you were content. Yeah. Mm. The magician in reverse. Yeah. Let me see that. Why would the magician come in reverse? Hold on a second, you guys. Yeah, because that's a spiritual card, a spiritual awareness. Yeah, somebody feel like they missed an opportunity with that Wheel of Fortune, that magician on that Wheel of Fortune. They done let so much time pass y'all by, and they feel like they missed an opportunity. It's causing them all kind of worry and mental illness. Yeah, they feel like they, they dropped the ball. They did it all wrong. That was you, Capricorn High. That's what it looks like. Yeah, but they want to communicate so that they can get their happiness back. That's you, Capricorn. Six of Wands. And I say that because you, you're the ones with the with the uh, Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, okay? Six of Wands. Why is this here? Why is the Six of Wands here? This card of nobility, of being admired, being successful. Yeah, you're going to be admired for this new beginning. You both are going to be admired for this new beginning once you guys get back together. Yeah, people probably saw that happiness that you guys shared. Yeah, if you guys, if somebody's praying for a new beginning. It looks like it's you, Capricorn. But your person wants you to, at least that's how they feel about you. It's got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. That's how they feel about you. But you're the one looking like you want to give that offer. The Eight of Pentacles. This card of putting in that work. All that drive. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What was that again? A project. Yeah, somebody's working on it. They're working on it, but they're trying to get the rewards. That's right. Trying to get the rewards without putting in the work. You got to make the effort. You're lacking the confidence. And, and you, you, you're you lacking somebody. I think it's you, Capricorn. This is all you. The cards are pointing to you. You got you, you, you're, you're, you feel like you're lacking financial stability or, or, or something like that. Okay, because you're working, but you feel like you don't have enough. You don't feel like you have enough to, to provide for your person like that or, or to contribute to the household like that. I don't know. But you're planning on something. Okay? The High Priestess. Why is this here? We got the King of Cups. Okay? You already know that this person brings you balance. Capricorn, this person brings you balance and stability. And your person also knows that also. I mean, they they also know also. <laughs> they also know that they they know that you're their person. So if all of this is going on. What did you do, Capricorn? Why did you guys break up? Okay. Yeah, it was just, you're gonna have success when you when you uh, implement this plan that you're you're working on here. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? It's going to be a surprise. You're going to give them some sort of gift, Capricorn. Five of Wands. That is um, gaining op opulence, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
You're going to give them some sort of gold. Somebody's going to give somebody some sort of gold or something. This is gifts. Okay? Somebody's going to surprise someone that's single. They're, they're planning on surprising them when they come to give them that gift. It's going to be gold, maybe a gold ring, a marriage or a promise ring or some kind of necklace. It's going to be some gold. Okay? Somebody's really scared, but Capricorn, that's you. Really scared to come come forward, okay? But you're tell, you're being told you're gonna have success, okay? Yeah. Anything else for Capricorn and your person before we go to the message cards? This thing in the box is so pretty. It took me forever to put this on. It's that like a it's that mermaid color. Ain't that pretty as ever? I love that. I did it today. I just had to slap it on. Like I said, I've been busy. It's gonna look better tomorrow when I clean it up. <laughs> but it's still cute. It's cute as ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a complete surprise when they come rushing in. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the message cards. Any um any advice for Capricorn from this day? Time to celebrate. A joyous occasion or event will take place soon. Yeah. What if that's what this is talking about? What if this is saying you guys are going to see each other in public and you're going to walk away together? <laughs> Get it started all over again. I, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm a romantic too. <laughs> Anything else for the Capricorn Collective? Thank you. Thank you. Don't leave me. They're not ready to part ways. Capricorn is not ready to part ways, and your person is not ready either. From what I can tell, it's too late to apologize. You don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path. Yeah. You know your story. Let's go to the romance deck and see what it says for you guys. Any advice for the uh, Capricorn Collective regarding this spread? Mm hmm Yes. I don't know. All I see is that you guys love each other. Express your love. Yeah, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, Capricorn, go on and make that romantic gesture. Because you guys both love each other. I mean, you can see it. Yeah, but Capricorn, you did something with that Wheel of Fortune and that Magician in reverse. But stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and, and faith will bring new romance, okay? All right. Let's go to the mushy deck. I like the mushy deck. White rose guidance. Would Capricorn like to say anything to this uh, Ace of Pentacles energy? The energies in this reading. Would Capricorn like to say anything? Your name is following me everywhere. This is what Capricorn is saying to you, Crosswatch. Yeah. Yeah, universe is trying to tell him something. Last time around. Thank you. I want to create with you. Okay, so they want to create a life with you, cross watcher. Okay, with Capricorn, um, with the uh, Ace of Pentacles, like the same thing to the Capricorn energy in the stream.
Last one. You are my secret passion. Yeah. They can't get you out of their head either. See, told you. It's heartbreaking. We can't have more than what we do now. So maybe your cross watcher has moved on. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks like you guys, you did something, Capricorn. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. Let's get uh, Capricorn some advice. Any advice for Capricorn? Energy in this reading. Thank you. And you're worthy of love. Don't think that you're not. Intuition. Yep. Nope. Okay. Okay. You, you're worthy, Capricorn. You're worthy of love. Okay? It doesn't matter what you have or what you bring into the table. You know, material things will come. You know what I mean? But you're worthy. And then we have alchemy. You can have anything that you want on this planet. Um, and everybody practices alchemy, even when you think you're not. Think too hard about something. It's going to come to you. Good, bad, or indifferent. So if this is what you want, and you want to be able to provide more for this individual, um, then go after that. Focus on that. You know? But you're being told to contact this person, Capricorn. Make it do what it do. If that's, if that's the person that you want, you're being told to, to, to do that. Go after them. Call them. Ask them out to lunch. Don't call them late night so they won't get the idea that you're thinking about some booty. Call them on a Saturday afternoon or whenever they're not working. And, and ask them, could they, would they like to join you for lunch? You'd like to talk to them. Yeah. Capcom, that is you guys reading. Good luck with that, okay? I know what it's like to be in love with someone you're not with. Yeah, it sucks. But you guys are going to be fine. All right? I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Take care.